Ever wondered why some men guilt trip women into staying in relationships with cheating partners? This question unravels a complex pattern of manipulation rooted in an underlying male fear of being replaced. To understand this, let's consider a familiar scenario. A woman uncovers her partner's infidelity. When confronted, he pleads and cites their shared past, the memories, the life they've built together. He minimizes his actions, making them seem less severe, less harmful. Then comes the guilt trip, the mention of financial repercussions of a potential divorce, subtly turning the tables, making her the one responsible for their financial well-being. This is a classic case of manipulation, exploiting the concept of sunk cost fallacy and a shared history to keep the woman anchored. These tactics are not only manipulative, but they also disregard the emotional toll on the woman. They mask the man's deep-seated fear of being replaced, projected onto the woman in a twisted form of self-preservation. Often, it's not just the cheating partner who manipulates the woman. Consider this scenario. A woman confides in a friend about her partner's suspected infidelity. Rather than supporting her, the friend suggests she turn a blind eye, prioritizing family stability over confronting the betrayal. The woman is left to grapple with her pain in solitude, the pressure from her peers adding to the weight of her predicament. This is a common narrative. Society often places the onus on women to maintain the facade of a happy family, even at the cost of their own emotional well-being. Moreover, the financial repercussions of ending a relationship are frequently highlighted, creating an additional layer of fear and uncertainty. Yet, the financial impact of the cheating partner's actions is often overlooked. This societal pressure, combined with the fear of financial instability, can lead women to overlook infidelity, further entrenching them in toxic relationships. Pressure from peers and society can further entrap women in these toxic relationships. Even in therapy, manipulation can persist. Picture this, a woman, tired and worn, revealing her partner's infidelity to a therapist. She wants to leave, but instead of support, her partner becomes defensive. He argues about financial consequences, subtly twisting the narrative. It's yet another attempt to keep her chained to a relationship that's causing her pain. It's critical to recognize these tactics, to seek help that validates your feelings, not dismisses them. In therapy, it's vital to have a professional who can spot manipulative tactics and support the woman's feelings. So how can women break free from these chains? Here's the game plan. Trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. Surround yourself with a supportive network. Don't be shy to assert your boundaries and refuse to tolerate emotional manipulation. Prioritize your safety, always. Consider professional help to navigate this emotional maze. Remember, your safety and well-being should always be paramount. Every woman deserves a relationship free from manipulation and infidelity. It's time to break the chains.